Okay, hello guys. Uh, in this video, we're gonna see uh, why I believe that uh, the Moves Count uh, website is still far better than the Sunto application, and uh, of course, uh, uh, and of course, why I believe that uh, the closure of the Moves Count is gonna be a very bad decision for Sunto. First of all, uh, we're going to see the uh, the Sunto move, move Scout through the PC, and we're going to see also the Sunto application through uh, a, an Android uh, simulator, which is the Nox. I find it a bit ridiculous uh, to design routes or do things with the routes inside uh, inside the Android. So that's why. I will use this application over here to run the Sunto application. So we're going to see some features of the Sunto application very fast, and some uh, some features of the Moves Count. Okay, basically, uh, for the, most of the people, maybe those uh, both uh, programs or applications are intended to be used only for watching uh, the athletic performance so let's see for example just a simple route uh, this one is three days ago uh, over here we're going to see uh, the route and of course we're going to see uh, just three things over here which is the altitude the speed and the heart rate in this route plus um, plus over here we have the um, some additional info down below speed duration etc you see the laps etc etc and here have some other infos too so returning to this uh, activity we can download the fit file or save it as a route okay now in the same uh, way uh, this uh, was on 6th of December okay 6th of December as you can see here, the Move Scout, I think it's far better. Uh, okay, 6 was this date over here. And over here, of course, we have uh, we have the info we want on the PC screen, which is very far better, I think, than the phone. And over here, we have this nice um, graph, which has those buttons that are not available in the application okay, this is some uh, normal info as uh, as the one in the application now we have the photos uh, but what's missing now between this and uh, the application is that here we have Google on the other stuff we have only the OpenStreetMap and it's not so good the satellite images anyways the other thing we have here which is important are the tools we can export this as a KML GPX feed etc and uh, what's the best thing when we have an app uh, we have a, a site like move scout or an application for PC of course is the possibility to uh, to work uh, to have parallel work and we can export this as KML and uh, immediately I can open this in uh, Google Earth one thing that I cannot do uh, in the in the application on the phone and even if I could do that uh, I won't be I wouldn't be able to use it immediately over here I can immediately work with this KML file 
or GPS or whatever because the multitasking environment of the window, allow, Windows allow me to do things that uh, I won't be able to do inside uh, the application for example over here I can uh, record immediately a video on the road and further occupy myself with uh, other also other routes uh, or activities that I've done in the past in the phone this is impossible it's not a multitasking environment and furthermore it cannot support uh, applications uh, multiple applications running at the same time and uh, giving me uh, the possibilities that I have inside the Windows system but uh, this is only the first uh, thing uh, I was trying to show also this one uh, this presentation over here of my activities in the same window I can see uh, many things I have also the possibility to search uh, to search uh, my, my activities by what's called the tags so if, if, if I, have, I have tagged activities with certain uh, with certain uh, phrases I can immediately search the old uh, the old activities for example here I have a region of my island which is called Nerusa and uh, by clicking this tag uh, I can see immediately uh, which activities happened uh, having this tag so over here we see the summary of two moves to move. So one is on uh, 11 of September and the other is on uh, 24 of November so by going uh, backwards on 24 of November over here you see I have written Rusa uh, tracks and by clicking the icon I can immediately go and see those uh, this uh, activity which also involved uh, my uh, activity on a, a new uh, track which I also inputted in the in the open street um, system except of this part over here and also here I designed the St. George's uh, ruined church that was built centuries ago anyways that was uh, that is one of the most important uh, features of the of the site which uh, well, I'm not gonna have inside uh, the Sunto application so this is the multitasking thing of course and uh, which gonna we're gonna see it again uh, in the next thing that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna present and also as I said before is the searching uh, an activity by its its, uh, its uh, tags over here you see a tag is the Kinopiaston Alcilio which means forest of Kinopiastes a small forest, uh, forest of Kinopiastes okay so let's see now the most important thing for me in the moves count which is not a variable in the Sunto application and uh, what is that okay for most of the athletes maybe the most important thing is to see their values their achievements in the view of max in ups in uh, ascent descent etc for me the activities is not only uh, a way to to train myself uh, but it's also a way to explore things um, so let's get to the to the point uh, of the difference between Moves count and uh, Sunt application as you can see the Sunt application we don't have any points of interest very important for someone who would like to explore its environment and secondly the routes are just uh, going down like this 
no possibilities to do many things uh, other than uh, clicking on a, uh, on a route and uh, just edit it a bit and uh, and see it with a uh, with a satellite of the uh, OpenStreetMap. There's no Google Map over here, and that's it all for the routes. Routes, sorry. So closing this thing now, and let's see what's the difference with the move count. First of all, in the move count in the watches, I can have uh, something that is called uh, points of interest and as uh, I was talking before and saying that uh, also the move scout is better because by working in the Windows environment we have the possibility to be multitasking so I can open another window and another window of move scout now over here I'm gonna keep this uh, open sit map uh, open street map and over here I'm gonna keep this with uh, a satellite view of Google Maps and not of the open street map I consider that which is better so let's turn back to the point system uh, let's see uh, in the points of interest as you can see here we have the possibility to um, to add in the watch points of interest and by clicking we can see where is that and what it is a small description uh, trade cam I just input this type of, uh, of uh, boy just to, to say that I would like to discover explore more this point over here we have also the altitude but the altitude is not written because of a problem of the of, of the of the moves count uh, side which is the abandonment or by the Sunto company but we will talk in another moment for that okay I have this point of interest which uh, when I get to my tab to me tab in the map section excuse me okay I have this lovely feature over here which I don't have in the Sunto application the one very best thing is I can hover over the activity of a route and see where are they going and what they're doing. I think which is impossible in the Sunto application. And all the the routes that are visible over here are visible over here too. Now, for guys that uh, would like to explore their uh, natural areas and they are not living in a big city like New York or London or Athens which actually you don't have many things to explore or you might have I don't know but anyways when you have to have uh, to do with nature and forests and small forests and uh, dense uh, tree system or bushy system you have to uh, to find new paths uh, so this is this tool is very uh, useful and let's see why it's useful um, combined with the point system now if I press this uh, button over here I, I immediately bring up on the map all the points that I have uh, over here stored with times uh, with the time passing by on the most uh, most count side now as you can see I have uh, inputted some uh, places that I would like to explore more. So over here, there is a uh, there is a, a track which is not visible on the open uh, street map, but uh, sure it's visible uh, on the uh, on a satellite uh, system. Okay, let's see what I was about. It was about here, which is close to Calafationes. Okay, let's go close to Calafationes. Uh, this is the uh, area as, as you can see this is the area this is the track that I would like to explore and as you can see this track is visible over here on the satellite and I can do that because I am in Windows and I, ha I can have multiple windows in the suit application I cannot work around and mark and operate with things that I would like to discover 
also here I have something which is like an abundant um, structure and uh, as you can see also on the map um, I I mark places that they're uh, interesting over here you can see the ruins of uh, St. George's uh, Church this is inside the forestal, not forestal, let's say natural area so to go over here I have to go on this I have marked as a point of interest this uh, road which is not visible in the uh, open street it's over here actually and over here is the St. George's Church uh, I was talking about uh, the points of interest and also uh, the possibility of, of hovering on the routes to do to see what they are going the hovering uh, is very important if I want uh, to see if any of my routes passes by close of this area of interest that I have marked over here so this uh, this route for example is close by but it's not perfectly on but this one as you can see if I click it now can see that it passes by at the starting point of the um, trail that goes on the ruined church of St. George over here I can see it again even with a satellite image uh, this is uh, let's, let's find the, the route that does this uh, it's this one if I zoom over here I can see that this route passes by from this point of interest which leads to the St. George now for one who would like to explore maps and areas uh, better saying the feature of the um, of the multitasking the feature of the poise the feature of the, the way the maps work if it's far better on a window platform than an Asunt application in a very small and I would call it stupid uh, stupid Android phone not, uh, also I would like to mention that now that I have clicked on this route now this route is over here so to return back, back to the possibility of hovering on a route I have to close this route and again come to my uh, button and uh, see again uh, the routes that are available in this window over here so the further I go inside here the routes are getting less just one two three four if I open the window again I have all this thing to be shown over here things that are not happening of course in the Android application also I have uh, this feature over here to categorize my routes that are visible on the window by the distance uh, and if I go to my library I can uh, try to sort uh, with a name or sort with the newest first things that are not again uh, available in the in the Sunto application and this is fascinated me a lot now let's talk of, about the last very important uh, thing of uh, the poise now when I, I click this poise button over here and I synchronize my watch with the moves count uh, site what happens is that uh, all the uh, all the poise that are marked use in watch they are visible inside my navigation map with these small uh, signs so if I uncheck this one there is no visible point of interest inside my navigation map of the watch when I do a route but if I click it over here and uh, turn it on uh, and I synchronize my watch with a, with a site I immediately have in my navigation system of the watch visible all the the points the points of interest that are turned on 
in this section over here so let's go to to see okay you see those these are uh, abandoned uh, or ruined uh, cottages that uh, I would like to explore so over here we can see where is that this is on the north part of the island somewhere high and if this is turned on and this button is pressed now this will show up in my navigation map when I'm, when I'm uh, close to that area or when my navigation map anyways involves uh, this area over here so over here you can see that I have checked these points of interest over here let's see them also in the Google Maps uh, map so it's up here actually and what we can see here is that this area was an area of uh, uh, an area of shepherds and these are the are now ruined and abandoned small houses they got in the area uh, actually these ones are marked while hiking in this uh, in, the, uh, in a hike in this area over here there's another one and over here actually you have a space where <laughs> you have a nice overview of the sea anyways that was uh, that's the problems that I have with uh, with the Sunto uh, application. For me, that I am exploring uh, my area, this problem is very big, and it's a, it's a problem that uh, pushes me to abandon Sunto and get into another company because Sunto doesn't uh, doesn't listen to its uh, to its uh, clients I have written to Sunto many times but I've seen that they have uh, they have decided already for their uh, for the next moves which uh, it's the closure of the most scout uh, site I have to, to say that uh, the move scout site as it was right right now it's really good for for someone who explores. Um, it's, I think it's also for exploring. It's uh, it's better also than the other companies. But we are facing the the closure of this system.